Did you know that your ankle stiffness or lack thereof might be the thing that's hurting your athletic performance and most importantly, your vertical jump? Now while ankle stiffness might sound like a bad thing, it's actually not. Here at Resilient Sports, we define ankle stiffness as the ankle's ability to resist movement under force. Basically what that means is we're trying to train the ankles to be so resilient that when your feet hit the ground, the ankles don't cave in, they don't cave out, and they don't give in to the force you're trying to create through the ground. Now let's address suddenness. Suddenness is the ability to create minimal ground contact. And the only way we can create that is by having ankle stiffness. In simpler terms, we're trying to get on the ground and off the ground as quickly as we can. Believe it or not, the best sprinters and jumpers create ground contact time of 0.12 seconds. That's like nothing. All while creating force through the ground that's up to four times their body weight. The only way that you create such minimal contact and that much force is with ankle stiffness. You see how the two are married together? So how exactly do we work on this? Well, we have to develop the ankle's ability to resist movement, so I love depth drops. Then we have to develop the ability to get on and off the ground as quickly as possible. Exercises like line hops, pogo hops, split pogo hops, tuck jumps, bounding and sprinting all can help develop that ability to get on and off the ground as quickly as possible. These exercises put together, done the right way, and done often will help you develop that ankle stiffness that is the foundation to triple extension. So make sure you save this video, read the caption, and start doing these exercises so you develop the stiffness and the suddenness that will help you increase your vertical jump. Stay resilient.